What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are taking a trip down memory lane when it comes to, like, horror games and shit. We're gonna play Escape from Lavender Town. Game has a tendency to break the fourth wall. Make sure that the area... Oh. Make sure that the area behind you is free of fragile objects. Press any button to continue. Play, you must make sure your sound is on, otherwise your game experience will not be the same. It's also best when played at night, so to avoid wit from waking anybody up. Full screen. Okay. I have not played Lavender Town in a minute. Hello. You talk to people? I have a terminal illness. Jeez, that's a little sad, isn't it? I haven't played this for like seven plus years. <laughs> it feels kind of nostalgic coming back to this creepy pasta game. Honestly, it really does. Hello? Who are you? Can I look at you? Hi, I am the Raider. Raider? Raider. But I'm not in the mood to rate names today. Okay, it is Raider. This town has been getting more and more dull. I'm thinking about moving out soon. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. I wouldn't blame you personally. Sometimes you hear voices at night. The dead come back to talk to us. Do you really think I believe those things? Yes. There aren't only good persons in this world. Some will do anything for money. Are you good? I just saw you tilt your head back and forth like... Boom, boom, boom. Like, you're scared. Team Plasma wants to free all Pokemon. Team Galactic has been bombing lakes. Team Aqua and Magma resurrected. Two Pokemon that hated each other. But we, Team Rocket, have killed an entire family of Pokemon and let the sole survivor wear his mother's skull. And he will roam around her grave for eternity. You're awful. You're inhumane. You GTFO, you terrible human being. Respect the souls of the departed. There's another one here. House of... Well, obviously, it's the house of the name raider. Also, I do believe we can't leave. Like, the town and everything like that. Lavender Town, home of the spirits. God, the music is fucking creepy still. It really is. I haven't... It's nostalgic, but still so creepy. Life is short. My Pokemon died last year. I come to the tower every day to pray for him. Alright. Hello. If you stay too long, your brain will be damaged. Is that so? Hello. Sorry, the game is not finished. You can quit with escape. I am a link between this world and the other. Alright, so that's pretty much everything here, but even though it's been a long time since I played this game, due to the fact that it's so nostalgic and it was so popular during a time, obviously we press escape and everything goes to shit within a few moments, so... Now we wait. I thought so. Hello! You're going to die before me, you have to accept it. Fuck you! You can eat my ass! Oh, I can't go in these houses anymore! What the fuck was that? Oh, the rooms were, like, inverted. I still don't like it, it's giving me an odd vibe that I'm not enjoying. What's after me? James, why are you using my name? You don't know me. You ain't my mom. It shouldn't have ended like this. We're all going to hell. Yes, we are. Finally, you are here. 
This game is not meant for everyone. It was made for you, James. Did you know after staring at a negative screen, the hidden Lavender Town frequencies are fatal for the human brain? Now you will die. I might die in my sleep tonight. If I do... Shit happens. <laughs> oh, this it was nostalgic, but in a way, it was kind of cringy. The you will die texts, like... Such a stereotypical thing for a creepypasta game. But yeah, this was uh, Lavender Town. Nice to revisit this game, honestly. Anyway, uh, it'll be linked in the description. Also, make sure to subscribe. We just reached 300 subscribers uh, as of today, 7-17-2021. Although, this will be uploaded on the 18th because that's how I do. I, re I pre-record my videos. So, thanks for 300 subs. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Go check out the game, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.